The next part of section 2.1 deals with solving linear inequalities. And now we're going to talk about when you have symbols such as that less than sign. And to be very honest, solving inequalities is exactly like solving equations. So to solve an inequality, inequality, Inequal Ooh, I've got sorry, I got the wrong spelling here. Solving an inequality is exactly like solving an equation. So therefore, it's a less than symbol, but I still will draw my balance scale line right down the middle. And again, I'm going to look at both sides of that symbol. I'm going to treat it like an equal sign. And I notice I've got 9x's over here, and i got 12x's over here. Now, just for the sake of a, rem a very important reminder about solving inequalities, I'm going to minus 12x to both sides, which is kind of goes against what I told you in one of the previous videos. But it will work out anyhow. But in order to see something very important, I minus 12x to both sides here. And on this side, I get negative 3x plus 4, and my symbol is less than, and over here I have negative 11. Looks very similar to a linear equation, except for the fact that it's got an inequality. Now I continue solving. So I minus 4 to both sides, because I've got to get the x by itself. These cancel out, and I get negative 3x is less than negative 15. Finally, I divide by negative 3, and I have x on this side, and I get positive 5 on this side. But now, the reason that I did this backward from what I said in a prior video, I minus 12x, is because what I wanted to get over here was a negative number times the x to remind you that when you solve an inequality by multiplying or dividing by a negative, you must flip the inequality sign around. Therefore, my final answer is x is greater than 5. Now, I'm going to move this ahead, and I'm going to rewrite the inequality, which was 9x plus 4, which is less than 12x minus 11. And we got a solution. We said our solution is x is greater than 5 after we flip the inequality sign around. Now, we should check this and verify. Well, in order to check this, we need to pick an x value that is larger than 5. So let's try the number 6. So if I put a 6 where the x's are, I have 9 times 6 plus 4, and that should be less than 12 times 6 minus 11. And it better work out. This is 54 plus 4, which becomes 58. Now, hopefully, that will be less than this, which is 72 minus 11, which is 61. So yes, it checks. Now, the last part of solving a problem like this is they're going to ask you to graph the solution. Well, we practice this in Unit 1, graphing inequalities. So all I need is the key number, which is 5. And it says the solution is x is greater than 5, so therefore I put an open circle on 5 and a an squiggly line that goes all the way to the right with an arrow. And therefore, that is the graph of my solution to this problem. Now it's your turn. I would like you to graph this particular problem, solve and graph it. The problem is, let's see, it's 23 plus 3x is less than or equal to 15 minus x. Please stop the video at this time, solve it, and graph your solution. All right, draw the balance scale line. I notice i got to put my x's together first. This is minus 1x, so I'm going to add 1x to both sides. And I get 23 plus 4x is less than or equal to 15. Now I'm going to minus 23 because i got to get the x by itself. And I have 4x is less than or equal to negative 8. Now, 
I got to divide by 4, but since this number is a positive 4, I don't need to do anything with the inequality sign. I leave it alone. And I get x is less than or equal to negative 2. So I should be able to pick a number that is less than negative 2 and have this original problem work out. So let's try x is let's try x is negative 3. So if I put negative 3 in where the x's are, let's see what happens when we check it. We get 23 and then negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9 and that should be less than or equal to 15 and this is minus a negative 3 which means to add 3. Well 23 minus 9 is 14 and that's less than or equal to 18. It checks and it works out. Hopefully your graph looks something like this. You have a number line and the key number is negative 2 and it says less than or equal to, so we're going to draw a filled-in dot at negative 2, and then our squiggly line should go to the left. And that is how you solve linear inequalities.